Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and got me a, it's actually a small, but look how big it is, y'all. Ice coffee. Now, ice coffee is not a thing that we drink in the South. <laughs> is it, y'all? If y'all are in the South and you drink iced coffee, you gotta let me know. So I did have the whipped cream put on top because I, I can eat whipped cream on keto. Of course, they forgot to do it. I had to remind him. I paid extra for the whipped cream. Mm. Mm. Gosh, I asked for four Splenda, but I don't think I don't think they put four in here. Ooh, it's bitter. Mm. I reckon I'm gonna have to start keeping Splenda in my car. Anyway, when I went to visit Susan, she went to uh, Dunkin' Donuts and got her a cup of, um, I think she ordered a medium iced coffee. <laughs> and, I, of course, I didn't want one because I, I only drank hot coffee, and we had just eaten lunch, and I didn't want any hot coffee, so I declined it. But all the way driving home from New York, I kept thinking about that iced coffee, iced coffee, iced coffee. Oh, it looked so good. <laughs> So, um, a day or two later, I went, I had to go to Jill's to babysit or something, and so on the way, uh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts not too far from her house, so I called Jill, and I said, do you want an iced coffee? And she said, no, but I'll take a regular hot coffee. So I told her that Susan had, on. Um, ordered the iced coffee and that I had been craving it ever since. <laughs> so I stopped and got me the first iced coffee, but that day I only asked for three Splendas and it was bitter. But today I asked for four, but I, I don't think it has four Splenda in it. <laughs> Look at this tall straw, y'all. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Anyway, I'm going to put some Splenda in my car because I do like my coffee sweeter than this. So anyway, I'm going to continue with my cataract surgery journey. So today I sat down with my little, um, it's not a pocket calendar, it's like a book, but it's a calendar and I very seldom use it. But I decided I better start writing down all of these appointments because I'm scared to death I'm going to miss something. I have all these pre, I had to go today for a physical, they did an EKG, everything checked out perfectly. So on the doctor's scale, I think I weighed 210 the last time I went to my primary care doctor in New Jersey, which was, I don't remember if it was this year in the winter before I got COVID-19 or, or last year, but I weighed 210. So today I weighed 196. So I'm officially down 14 pounds. Yay! Give me a thumbs up, y'all. <laughs> You got to give me a thumbs up for that, right? So, Zeus kind of reprimanded me yesterday and um, told me in a comment that, Glenda, you really need to eat breakfast so you'll have fuel to start the day. So, I thought, well, since I'm going to be going to the doctor's office and parking and walking, no telling how far, I'd better eat some breakfast. So, I... um cooked me up a slice of bologna and um, a couple of little strips of bell pepper and just a little tiny bit of onion. I sauteed that and threw some cheese on top of it and threw an egg in there. So I kind of had me a scrambled omelet for breakfast. But then I got really, really hungry. I mean, it, it wasn't even two hours later that I was starving. So I'm not going to eat lunch because I, I am going to continue to try the one meal a day. And that meal is definitely going to be keto friendly. <clears throat> but I, I have still stalled. I'm just not losing any more weight. One of y'all told me that the scale is um, your enemy whenever you're dieting. So I need to put the scale in the closet and bring it out maybe once every two weeks. Or I have a lot of keto... Um, subscribers out there who can tell me 
more about it, you know, what I should be doing or not doing. Now, last night I got hungry after dinner, so I ate me a big old chunk of cheddar cheese. And then this morning I woke up just covered in red, just <laughs> inflamed eczema all over my arms and legs. So I'm think. I mean, I have cut out just about everything from my diet. Yeah, I'm not eating any processed foods, and uh, nothing white. You know, no. The only thing white I'm eating is is the dairy. So maybe that that's it. You know, maybe I do need to to eliminate dairy from my diet. But that's one of the mainstays of keto. But this eczema flare that I woke up with this morning, it's got to be from that big old piece of cheese that I ate last night and I am using the heavy cream in my coffee so I'm gonna have to eliminate it because I, mm -hmm. I definitely want this skin condition to heal I'm just so tired of feeling that inflammation in my arms and legs and hands and all of the itching and frustration and aggravation I'm aggravated y'all aggravated <laughs> like Dort would be so I went for my physical today, and of course I passed it. And then next Monday is my first surgery on my left eye. I did get a call from Emblem this morning, and my rep told me that I have to get my doctor to send in a, a pre-authorization request stating that I have a, um, a precondition that makes it necessary for me to have the laser cataract surgery and not I don't know what the regular surgery is called, but the regular surgery is where they actually go in with a scalpel and remove the the lens. Um, and that's what Medicare pays for. But the laser surgery where they use a laser to remove it is considered an upgrade. And that's what the doctor charges an extra $1,600 for. I paid it because it, it was necessary to be paid before the procedure. Uh, thank the good Lord I was able to save money this year from the stimulus money and also from living with Jill those uh, six months. I did give her a couple hundred dollars a month rent and I did buy groceries for the family, but uh, I was able to save some of my money. So, I mean, you just never know. I keep telling y'all, you better save, 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 save for retirement and then after, even after you retire, you have to save whenever you can. So thank the good Lord that I had that $1,600 saved so I could pay for the, la the upgrade, the laser surgery. But if Emblem will pay for it, then the doctor will reimburse me. So that will be a blessing. Um, now also, I have to have the laser surgery on the right eye also. There's some type of genetic disease that I have never heard of. It's called Fuchs, F-U-C-H-S syndrome. And it's where the cells um, in the cornea, the, the cells de you know, get destroyed from this genetic condition. And I guess eventually one will lose their eyesight, but it, it happens late, real late in life. So I think I have the stage one Fuchs dystrophy and um, then by the time it goes into stage two it, it's really at an advanced stage so hopefully I won't lose my eyesight from that but because of the Fuchs dystrophy and also I have astigmatism uh, which is a pre-existing condition then it um, it mandates that I have the laser surgery which is an upgrade according to Medicare so I just wanted to give y'all that little heads up, and we're going to continue with my vlog on my cataract surgery. Thank you for being here. Y'all, please like my video, and please share it with your friends and family and co-workers and your Facebook friends and Instagram and Twitter. Just tell them about Glenda Sully's channel. I would appreciate it so much. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.